Hi, welcome to this Plans Express Getting Started video. In this section I shall be taking a look at the creation of the first floor. As I've already got the ground floor there, I can use that as a template. To do so, I will go to the Views and 3D tab and I'm going to select the Levels tool. Now the Levels tool is going to ask for a base height, so that's the ground there, so that's zero, and the wall height for this level. So currently, and conveniently, it's 2550, same as the walls I've already drawn, and level set as 1. All I need to do is click OK, and follow the command window when it says give reference point. So the reference point is a point of the building, that's going to be the same all the way through, so you can stack on top of each other. In this case, I'm going to go down to the bottom left hand corner, and click on that wall there. Come out again, and it's going to ask me now for the first point of the box to define the level. So I'm going to come up here to the top left, click once, and I'm going to move the mouse across to the bottom right, and then click a second time to create a boundary around the ground floor. Now that's been created, I can use that now to create the first floor. To do this, I will highlight the boundary line there, a middle mouse click, and select Copy Selection. This gives me a special type of copy that allows me to eliminate certain features such as windows, doors, internal walls. You'll see this when I click this corner here and I'm going to hold shift to make that nice and straight so when I place this it's directly below the ground floor and place that on my page as such. Now when I'm placing this now you can see the base height is 2550, it's now level 2 and the wall height here is 2550 again. I need to change that to be two three two five and doing that is actually already changed the wall height down here to be two three two five and it's now giving me here as well in these sections select items to copy so I can copy the external walls and the internal walls as well I'm going to leave the internal walls in as I will want to use them later on to template where my flooring timbers will go but I can set the height of them as zero if I wish I'm also going to say I don't want the doors and openings in those there and also on the external walls I don't want to bring across any doors also. Automatically ticked is the remove foundations and footings on both external and internal so that will say no to any foundations also the footings, DPCs and such. Click OK and that will now place that floor there for me removing foundations as you can see and the doors where they occurred. What we'll need to do now is edit these stairs as they are currently pointing A the wrong way and B they will, on this first floor I will not be showing the bottom of the stairs. To do this now I just highlight the stairs, I can go to modify and selection and I can click explode. What this will do now is I can actually highlight lines and delete them as needed. So I'm going to use a left to right selection with the purple box to highlight those lines there. And what I can do now as well is I can highlight that line and move that up. Manipulating them, clicking on the blue corner, blue square there to move that line up. I can delete that line there. Of these lines I can delete that one. Clicking on it and just pressing the delete key on my keyboard to remove them if I don't need them. Press delete again, come down here, highlight that line there, and just extend those lines to tidy those stairs up. And finally, the direction. To change this, I can highlight that arrow there, I can middle mouse click, and I can select rotate from the menu, and I can click a point there, click another point to give me an angle to rotate. I can type in here now, the angle will be 180, place that there now, highlight that and just drag that back into position. I can change the up there, same again before, middle mouse click, select modify and type down. Click 
click OK. That's now been altered. And I can now save that to move on to the next stage. So up to the top left hand corner, save as, and this time I'm going to save as number 7. Click save, and we are done for this section.